Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this tutorial is going to show you how constraints work in AutoCAD and this is from tutorial 2-9 at MyCADSite.com and let's just get into it right off the bat. I'm going to draw two random lines here and what a constraint will do is constrain one object to another object based on different parameters so the first example I'm going to show is parallel so I've selected the icon I'm going to select the first line and then the second line you can see that AutoCAD has made these lines parallel now if I try and change one the other goes with it and you see that no matter what I do they will go parallel at any distance but they will remain parallel now that's a geometric constraint and I'm just going to show you another one now and this is a dimensional constraint and this will let me set it so that it's not only parallel but also a set distance apart so you can see D1 is three units so now if I try and move it it's always going to stay three units and parallel to each other. So from one endpoint to the other endpoint will be three units away. And that's how uh, one use of constraints is used. So I'm just going to erase these. I'm going to show you a different one. And I'm just going to draw some random circles. And this is a great example here let's say you're designing a part and there's going to be some holes drilled in it and they're all going to be the same size now if your uh, plans change and you got to change the diameter of the hole you got to go back and change all the different circles to represent the holes that are being changed but what I can do is set an equal constraint so that this first one I select will be that and so what it's done is taken the second circle and matched it and I just hit the space bar to repeat the command so now I've got all three circles the same size so now their center points remain the same but if I change one they all change to the same diameter so you'll see that that's a really handy uh, option to have and once again I can put a, another con dimensional constraint on them and I can make sure that these two circles are always eight units apart and I could make sure that these are going to stay four units apart so now no matter where one changes whether it's in uh, location or size the other ones will go with it so this is a pretty powerful tool to have in AutoCAD it's not something you're going to use in everyday drafting but it is something that's good to know is there and they're quite simple to use so have a look at them and see different ways of using them and I'm just going to show you a couple other things here for your display you can either hide them all or show them all and if I go to geometric displays and hide them all you'll see the dimensional is staying but the uh, geometric constraints have gone so I can just bring those back on and another command I'll show you is type in del C I'm just going to throw my uh, command line back on and type in del C for delete constraints and so now I can just delete those and now my circles are back to just being regular unconstrained circles so anyway that's a quick look at uh, constraints in AutoCAD thanks for watching this is Art at mycadsite.com this is my website for a completely free AutoCAD course in four levels, over 50 tutorials, lots and lots of videos, and quizzes on each tutorial. Check it out. Thanks.